Welcome to Your Vote, the St. Joseph News Press Now's coverage of the upcoming municipal election. I'm Quinn Ritzdorf, the local government reporter, and we are continuing our Q&A series, this time with the District 4 candidates, and with us is Mike Grimm. Mike, thanks for doing this. Thank you for having me. We'll jump right into the questions. Um, to start off, how would you bring vacant businesses back on the tax roll? I know, you know, there's a Kmart, in your, an empty Kmart in your, uh, in your district. Um, there's a number of you know vacant properties along the oh, South absolutely. Belt. Absolutely. So how how would you bring those vacant you know properties back on the tax roll? I think one of the big things is uh, another one is the Belt Supermarket at Belton Mitchell. Uh, it's been empty so many years and it's deteriorated so much. I think we have to hold the uh, the owners responsible for that, and we either need to have them sell the building or bring it up to to code. And I think if we do that, then we can interest other uh, uh, businesses to either buying or renting the space. What's your strategy to develop, you know, East St. Joseph? There's a lot of, you know, open area there. St. Joseph is growing. It seems a lot of people are moving to that side of town. What's your plan to develop East St. Joseph? Well, I think one of the big plans is we have two business parks in our district. And I think we need to invest in those business parks because that's what people are looking, for, businesses are looking for. When they come to St. Joe, they want property, they want uh, buildings, and I think we're in a position where we can offer them what they need. And as businesses develop, so will housing. How would you help another area in, in your district is, is kind of half of the Midtown area. Mm -hmm. How would you help grow kind of the Midtown neighborhood? I think one of the big things in Midtown is we need to uh, have a strong effort in the appearance of St. Joe. We certainly need, there's some great things happening right now at the grassroots level, but I think the uh, city council needs to take the lead in developing programs and, and funding. And I think if we can go in and help that neighborhood uh, uh, develop and, and uh, the appearance, I believe that uh, uh, more people will uh, take interest in it. Another part, another area in your district is Pear Street, and of course, um, you know, it, it was probably 10 months ago now mm -hmm. that that family died on Pear Street. Right. Um, there's, whenever it rains, that mm -hmm. ditch overflows. It's in the jurisdiction of MoDOT, but as the councilman for that district, sure. if elected, what would you want to be done to Pear Street? I think we need to take a good look at that. There's a lot of areas, not just that one, a lot of areas where there's deep ditches, there's uh, concrete left at the sides of the, uh, the street. I think we need to work with MoDOT. You know, sometimes it takes uh, a, a lot of effort to get MoDOT to move. And uh, I believe, though, if, if we take interest in it, if I can make the council interested in it and lead them, I think we can go to MoDOT and get something done. Your, your counterpart, Russell Moore, has, was a firefighter for multiple years. Mm -hmm. um, what's your plan and how would you help improve public safety departments in town? Sure, I think, I think in this election we've, gone two, we've combined two questions into one. One of them is, is the police uh, salaries and benefit package. I think we're there, I think we're competitive. The other side is retention of officers and getting new officers. Now we don't have any more turnover than any other city. Um, we're down 20 officers, Kansas City's down 200. So what we, what we need to do is maybe change our marketing strategy um, and maybe hire somebody in marketing that can help us get new officers. I think the officers we have, we certainly need to support them financially, physically, emotionally. Um, we need to give them the leadership that they need and, and the equipment to do their job. What steps would, you, you mentioned the, the business parks in your district, what steps would you take to entice companies to come to St. Joe? I think one of the big things that we lack in St. Joe is the skill sets for new businesses. So I think we have to work with Hilliards, we have to work with the college, we have to work with uh, uh, maybe, maybe a new uh, uh, profit, nonprofit organization to teach those skill sets. One of the problems is we teach kids, but we don't teach adults. And one of the best ways to move people out of poverty is to educate them. The council has, uh, you know, $19 million, the second installment of American Rescue right. Plan Act funds coming in, $19 million, it's a lot of money. How would you spend it? I would like to go back and form another committee and let them pick the, the places they would like to spend it. 
Now, some of it I think we should use for, for infrastructure if we can. But I think that uh, it should be a community effort to figure out how to spend that money because it's going to be a one-time thing. When you, when you say infrastructure, what, what aspects of infrastructure? Well, I, I don't think we need to spend it on streets and roads, but we may be able to spend it on, on some in uh, equipment. Um, help uh, purchase some of the more expensive equipment that would be a capital improvement. What's your strategy to grow the population in St. Joseph? Obviously, we, you know, this St. Joseph's population has declined by 5,000 people in the last mm -hmm. 10 years. What's your strategy to? We're losing our young people, and that's that's a terrible thing because they're the future. I think we need to start looking at things uh, as uh, not older people like I am. But what do the what do the younger people need? What do, what supports do they need? What can we give them uh, that will help entice them to stay in St. Joe? And, and one of them is is the uh, bike uh, track up in the, in the bluffs. That's what young people do. We need to kind of change our thinking about how we're how we're treating our young people. You mentioned infrastructure. Whether it's your district or the city as a whole, how would you improve? In what aspects of infrastructure would you improve in town? I think we need to look at the, some of the things that maybe we're not doing. We need to look certainly at, at sidewalks uh, um, along the schools. Uh, uh, and that's one where um, I, I believe that we need to get the St. Joe School District involved and, and pay part of that cost. But I think that's, uh, that's an area. I think uh, certainly the infrastructure, uh, we have a lot of city-owned property that maybe doesn't look uh, or is in a good enough shape. Since we choose not to uh, put any money aside for maintenance, uh, maybe we could use uh, some of that money to uh, maintain our own buildings. Just kind of the last question here. What steps would you take to enhance the relationship, you mentioned the school district, enhance that relationship with the school district and also the county? Sure, I think, I think uh, of course, the, the county plays a huge role in what we do. But I think uh, one of the things the city council hasn't done over the years um, is go to, this, uh, to the school district and say, here's what we expect of you. Um, certainly they play a huge part, uh, whether it be test scores or schools or when, when companies look at, uh, to, to relocate here. I think it's time for the city council to sit down and figure out what they need from the school district and then go meet with them and, and certainly tell them what we expect of them. That's kind of all the questions I had. Is there anything else you wanted to add? Not a thing.